Coin Talks, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Cronin has the ball teed up, and we're just about ready to get this one started. Taken from the three-yard line. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. They make the stop around the 35-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he's immediately tackled. Complete for six yards, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. He's taken down at the 45-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 45. Zips it to the tight end. He's knocked out of bounds around the 25-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. First and 10. Ball on the 25. Bring him down at about the 25-yard line. That makes it second and 10. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Well, he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. They come out in an empty backfield. Slings it. He's hit and taken down. We've got a change at the quarterback position. You've got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. Kicks away, and it sails through the uprights. They're ready for the kickoff. Hollis takes it to 14, and he's tackled at the 31-yard line. Well, this offense is going to look to quiet this crowd down. Their big play wide receiver taking the field for the first time. And Hollis's talents are about to be on full display. We've been waiting for this, Kirk. And, Brad, as you know, this guy is so talented. He can quiet this crowd all by himself here early on. So I'd expect to see this offense try to look for ways to get him the football and see if he can have some success early to see if he can quiet the crowd by himself. First down. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and two. after decent pickup so the option keeper will get him a first down it's a very well executed option play the blocking was there and the quarterback made the correct decision to keep it himself and get the first down 
from the 41 yard line. First down. He's at the 30. Makes it out to about the 23. First down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He goes out of bounds at the 18 yard line. That's good for a gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 18 yard line. Quick out to his receiver. a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. When you're in the huddle and the post route is called, the quarterback and the wide receiver get excited because they know that there's a chance for a big play. Here, the offense does a good job of protecting the quarterback, allowing the quarterback enough time to make that big throw. And, of course, the receiver has the speed and the, and the hands to make the play for the touchdown. Cronin gets set to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. Brought down at the 23-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's taken down right around the 36 yard line. Tackle at the 36 yard line. No gain on the play. That makes it second and 10. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. And he throws it away. backfield quarterback in the gun five wide receivers swings it out there incomplete they're going to be forced to punt it away here yeah they just couldn't connect on the pass there that was a very good stand by this defense randall is the deep man awaiting the return so we got a little well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a team of six on that play. That'll make it second and four. There are three quarters remaining. The Lobos lead it by four. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. He's at midfield. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. That makes it first, and first down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. He takes it right side for a good game. That'll bring up second. 
second and three. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. First and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's pushed out of bounds. Right around the 24-yard line. First down. Tries to buy some time. Brought down at the 17 yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring us. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. He's tackled around the 17 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The Lobos quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. And he gets the touchdown. Well-designed play to get the half back into the end zone. Hey, for this guy, it doesn't matter how it's drawn up. He can make his own play as he goes along. That was a nice run. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 46. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. their own 46 yard line first down run play and he'll lose yards no gain on the play that makes it second and ten complete he's got room to work and he shoved out of bounds right around the 42 yard line I like how the blitz was identified and then picked up that's a good test for a quarterback how does he react in the face of pressure it's first and ten ball on the 42 he rifles it even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers tight end. Knocked out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That makes it third and seven. Quick strike to the receiver. He gets hit out of bounds around the 34-yard line. The defense didn't stop the pass, but they stopped him short of the sticks. And that's the important thing here. Allow him to make the catch, but make sure you tackle him before he gets to the first down marker. Scrambling around. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. From the 30-yard line. It's first down. And down he goes at the 24-yard line. That'll make it second. 
We're at play number nine of this current drive. Gets it. He's in space. And he is drilled at the seven. They went back to the same play that time. Yeah, you're right. Same play as the one before, and they got a good completion and a nice game. First and goal, and they need a touchdown here to get back in this game. Fires that quickly incomplete. Number 86. Here's the 11th play of the drive. That brings him second and goal. level at the 13-yard line. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Third and goal. Ball on the 13-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Get to that quickly. Tackle right around the six yard line. That brings us fourth and goal. Kicks up, and it's good. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. Looks like they're ready for the kick. too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Out the tailback and he dropped it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He's going to air it long. Nice grab on the play. And they make the stop just outside the goal line. Low scoring first half of play, but a close game. 14-6, Lobo. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. and. You know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and, and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right, and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Coley fields it at the 13. Tackle at the 29-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Quick strike to the back, no good. 
It's second and ten. Ball on the 29. Now he's scrambling. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 46. That makes it first and ten. Makes his way to about the 42. That's a D of 12 on the play. First, First and 10. Ball on the 42 yard line. Gains his way to the 33 yard line. That makes it second and two. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down at about the 17-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 17. Wide receiver screenplay. He has some room. He's taken down right around the two-yard line. Brings him down at the two-yard line. That, that makes it first and goal. goal. the speed and instincts it takes for a linebacker to get from his position into the backfield to make a play like that. That's well done. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. Second down and goal. Six yards to the end zone. He's in for the touchdown. The extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four yard line, and he makes it out to about the 21 yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is. They're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Steps out of bounds. The 26-yard line. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. injury and unfortunately I don't think he's going to play any more football today up the middle for a nice game they're about four yards away here on second down got it and he goes down quickly It's the tailback. He's at midfield. 
gains his way to the 43-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Takes the ball right, and he's taken down at the 45. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's immediately tackled. Here's the eighth play of the series. And he's tackled after positive yardage. From the 32-yard line, first down. The 34-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's Crystal's check out the penalty. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. Offense. That one's going to put him way Still back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. Second and long. Ball on the 44-yard line. They'll get him for a loss. That was a loss of two yards. Third down. This is the 11th play of this drive. Wants to throw outside, and that one's fallen incomplete. Number 86 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Randall is back deep to return. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Lobos have shown here in the third quarter they're not content to just sit on that lead they built the first half. Well, they did a nice job in the first half, but the adjustments that they made at halftime have allowed them to find some matchups to their advantage, and they've taken uh, full advantage of it. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 21-6, Lobo. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He fights forward to about the 26. They're about four yards away here on third down. Slings it. He's tackled at the 27 yard line. Cronin is the punter. Booming kick. Yeah. 
He gets out to about the 38-yard line. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Gets out to around the 48. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48. Heading for the corner. He's at the 40. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. corner he's pushed out of bounds at the 17 yard line they've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall from the 17 yard line first down And they got it. That is a loss of seven on the play. That'll make it second and long. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Balls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two point conversion. Just under three to go in regulation. in for two. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Randall takes it at the 16, and down he goes at the 23. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Looks middle, got his back. And down he goes at the 28. It's second and five here. Ball on their own 28. right running backs got it maybe got two feet on the play it's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play here we go scrambling around and he hits him hard at the 32 good awareness by the defense to know where the first down was and stop him short of Cronin awaits the snap Excellent punt. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Just under two minutes in the game. 
Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. Spikes the ball. Third down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Five wide. Strike to his receiver, no good. So the officials taking a look at this play to see if the receiver got a foot in. Regardless of the outcome of this review, I still think that this guy made an excellent catch. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after some discussion, the call on the field is reversed. It's first and ten. Ball on the 43. The stop at about the 31. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 31 yard line. Here they come. Runs with it, and he's got room. Tackle made at about the 25 yard line. Under a minute left in the game. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Quick throw. And he is drilled at the two-yard line. Receiver, touchdown. Will be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT late in the fourth quarter, and with that score, we are now tied. And the way things are going, we might be going to an extra session or two. So looks like they're ready for the kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Quick strike to the receiver. He's hit and taken down. The Lobos taking their first time out of the half. From their own 36-yard line. It's first down. Makes the catch, and the defense is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. The Lobos call a timeout. That's their second of the half. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make the play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Aaron and out long. It's complete. He's taken down at the 21-yard line. Hey! 
He's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in. He's got space. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. Folks, we're either going to see victory with this field goal or overtime. Here we go. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. If they field the kick here, a touchdown return is their only chance at victory. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 38. Hollis's day comes to an end, not how he had planned it to go, but hey, team rallied around him beautifully. Brad, I think you and I and everybody else expected a big day for him individually, and he didn't deliver. But most importantly, the team, as you said, was able to come up and kind of step in for his absence and win this football game. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.